All right, so I've been reading these uh, magazines and stuff and uh, that I had from when I was a kid, you know. This is stuff from uh, way back, about 10, 15 years ago or whatever. And a lot of this stuff, believe it or not, I do not remember. I was, uh, I've been reading some of these magazines or going through them some of these old school magazines and uh, I don't really remember any of this stuff <laughs> or a lot of this stuff <clears throat> but then you have to remember that this stuff is from uh, so long ago that yeah <clears throat> anyway this is a uh, another magazine and uh, as a kid I collected all kinds all matter of uh, Dax, uh, Dax things or uh, Terry Farrell uh, magazines or toys uh, and stuff. So uh, this magazine had a Terry Farrell uh, or Dax uh, interview and stuff. And uh, the cover here tells you, uh, gives you an idea of how old this is. Uh, it says here uh, Star Trek Insurrection so yeah that was a pretty uh, a long ago event or movie and stuff Star Trek In Insurrection if I remember correctly uh, I think that was the movie they did the first movie they did uh, after Generations if I remember correctly the uh, Enterprise D was destroyed so they just made another one <laughs> and uh, made more movies and stuff <clears throat> anyway this is from September 1998 and was originally 450 alright so some commercials and stuff this is a commercial it says here 9.01 p.m. head for library to study for finals 9.08 p.m. run into fellow player with wormhole showdown deck 12.53 <laughs> 12 a.m. attempt to Vulcan mind mill to find answers to test and this is for the Star Trek customizable uh, card game that used to be pretty big uh, apparently I, I don't really remember too much but they used to have uh, a lot of card games and stuff for sale <coughs> <coughs> alright so it says here if I could get this to focus it says bye bye Jadzia in her last interview on the subject actress Terry Farrell bids farewell for now to her fans and tells why she's left Jadzia Dax behind for life in the sitcom lane and there is a Dax picture <coughs> and some other stuff here Oh, uh, before I get started, I have something that uh, I want to say. Recently, I went on, or I was on the Star Trek webpage, the main one. Now, the last time I was on it was uh, when I was a kid, about 15 or 20 years ago. And uh, I was kind of shocked because I didn't really recognize it. Okay, back when I was a kid, I remember it had this kind of the next generation set up, background, buttons, and so forth, that kind of feel to it. But today, well, <laughs> I'll just say I was amazed. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, actually, this magazine, somewhere in this magazine, there is an example 
I can show you later on. Of it has some uh, pictures or article about the. Uh, it also has an article and stuff about the Star Trek web page, how it used to be or originally was. I mean, yeah, it was it was totally different. It was totally different uh, years ago than what it is today. These are some AT&T prepaid cards with some minutes and other commercial stuff. And it says here, now an easier way to get connected. <laughs> Are these cassette tapes? Yo, th if these are cassette tapes, that would be old school to the max. Oh no, these are books. Okay. These are just some old school uh, books and stuff. This is kind of cool. It's a uh, old. <laughs> it's an old eBay commercial. Come on. Will this focus? eBay <laughs> how eBay uh, used to look <laughs> wow old school eBay uh, let's see here it says see you see it says here that's a picture of uh, Terry it says here Dax's spots and there was a little paragraph down here that says how long each day does it take Michael Westmore to paint Dax's trill markings how much longer does it take him to do them for those episodes where he has to do them all the way down her legs? Has anyone ever written a book about the Westmore family and all of the Hollywood makeup artists it has produced? And it says here, it takes Michael about 15 to 20 minutes to paint trill spots entirely freehand and about an hour to do them all the way down. As for a book about the Westmore family, one was published about 20 years ago, but you will not likely find it in your local library. Then it has some other uh, questions and answers about all kinds of stuff. Some more articles and uh, commercials. This one is about, uh, I guess, one of the seasons they did. Oh yeah, and here's another one of those uh, Star Trek customizable card game World Championships, 1998. Yeah, I guess that used to be a pretty big thing here. Uh, people would play the card games. Star Trek uh, card games and stuff. Wow.
<laughs> oh, here it is. Here we go. It says here, there's a picture of uh, Dex. It says here, uh, bye bye, Jadzia. It says, it's not easy saying goodbye. Just ask Terry Farrell. For the past six seasons, the actress has been a staple of Star Trek View Space Nine as Jadzia Dax, the trill with a centuries old symbiote living inside her. Farrell excluded, ex exuded cool confidence when not offering her own dose of deadpan comic relief. But when Farrell's contract was finished at the end of the sixth season, Farrell chose not to renew for the seventh and final year of the series. I left home because I could, couldn't could wait to see what the rest of the world had to offer, and I needed to leave Deep Space Nine and do something different, she says of her decision. Although at first she was open to renegotiating her contract, Farrell continues, the more I sat with it, the more I realized it wasn't about more money. I just want to do something different. I don't feel like if I stayed for another year, I'd get to know a side of Dax that I never got to know before. There are nine characters on the show. What else could they give me? And because I'm 34 years old, that was definitely an element of it because if I don't work on my career in my 30s then there's a little chance I'll have something in my 40s and 50s to do it's very difficult looking back on her years with Deep Space Nine Farrell's nostalgia is clear even though she's only a few months removed from the series it's been an extraordinary experience, the best learning experience I could have ever asked for, she says. I learned to not make decisions out of fear, how valuable it was to be able to work with the same people for six years. There's actually a lot of Dax and Farrell too. She really helped me grow a lot. I was 28 when I got the part and a lot of it was overwhelming and having to play centered and calm and having it together being in charge when I felt overwhelmed really helped me get focused on what I was doing, remarks Farrell. In spite of her previous television acting experiences, Farrell, who was the last person to be cast in the series, initially found DS9 an experience unto itself. The sets were really huge and it felt like being on a stage, she remembers, and no one really warned me about the techno babble and how it doesn't really communicate with communicate what anybody's feeling. You have to put that in between and that was very difficult for me. Although the writers eventually eased up on the techno babble, Farrell eventually became more comfortable with the wordage. After a couple of years, things like deflector shields or the anomalies became second nature, she admits. Alright, this is a another long one, so I'm going to continue this in the second part.